What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi guys, my name is Sabrina. So in today's video we are continuing the princess makeup series and for today we are going to finish off Frozen and do Princess Anna. So I'm going to be doing a very dramatic eye look for her and a very simple face so without further ado, let's get into the video. So as per usual, the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. So I'm just going to focus it more on top for now because I'm doing a cut crease and I'm going to wipe away this part later. So I'm not putting so much uh, attention onto the lid for now. I am dragging it down but it's not putting as much compared to usual. Going in with the ColourPop She's a Rainbow Palette and I'm going to use this like very very hot pink color and I'm going to put that all over the crease. I'm using a smaller precision brush. And I'm going on with stamping motions just to get as much pigment as I can. So now that we are looking a little bit crazy, I'm going to do the slightest blend out of this line, but I'm going to take another pink shade and help blend it out. So just to finish this blend, I'm going in with this color from the James Charles X Morphe palette and I'm going to use the JS9 brush just to kind of buff the color out. Now we're going to go in and cut our crease using our Vaseline trick. If you have not seen that video already, I will tag it right now. And this is like your best friend when you want to do cut creases. It is just an amazing trick. So now once you have cut your crease and you put your Vaseline all over the lid where the color has dropped, you could start to wipe away making that very nice, crisp line. So now once we have this nice, crisp line, I'm going to go in and do the other side and then I will come back to do the rest of the eye look just so we save a little bit of time. Alright guys, so now that the hardest part is done, we're going to go back in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills primer and we will put it all over the lid. And now I'm being extremely careful of where I am bringing the product. So again, for this step, I will use an angled brush because that will help us get precise application around the cut crease. And what I'm doing is I'm going to drag my primer to my eye as if I was doing like a wing just to give a base for the next color. So I'll go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other eye. So now that we have our eyelids nice and primed, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go in with the James Charles palette once again. And I'm going to use the same brush that I just used for my eye primer. And I'm going to go in with this like royal blue type of shade. And I'm really going to put that like along. I'm going to start from this end. And I'm going to put it along where I just put the primer. And if you want like a nice precise crisp line, go with stamping motions. And just be sure not to push too, too hard because once you start pushing hard, that's when you'll start to have like a weird looking line.
Now that we have that color all placed, I'm going to take a small packing brush and put that color all over the lid. And you are just stamping that color on, you are not blending it out. So now this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go do the exact same thing on the other side just to save us some time again because it is a more intense eye look. So give me a couple minutes and I'll be right back. So this is now what the look looks like. I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter glue and I'm going to apply that kind of in the middle part of my eye and drag it out a little bit. And I'm bringing it up as well to give like a false halo eye type of look. And I'm going in for two colors for this step. So for the first one, I'm going to use this lighter blue type shade and we will just apply that all over and for the second shade I'm going in with the blue moon palette from Colourpop and I like to use this white shade And now just to blend in those shades a little bit, I'm going to go in with my JS6 brush, a little bit of that dark blue shade and just blend them in together. And there we have it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a quick line of liner just to hide the false lash band, apply my mascara and I'll come back once that step is all done. Okay, so this is the final outcome of the eyes. Also, if you do hear any noise in the background, my cat is having himself a good old play right now. So if you hear any banging, don't be alarmed. So I'm just going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer for this step. As per usual, it's our favorite primer. So for foundation today, we are using the Anastasia Beverly Hills like usual and I'm going to apply that with a brush today because I'm going to start using brushes more often. I find I rely so much on my beauty blender that I need to open up my box to my brushes because they deserve just as much love. So there we go. When we do use our brush, we also use less product because it doesn't absorb as much as a beauty blender does. So that's also a good way to save some of your product. So I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm just going to use the same brush to blend it out. And I kind of do like stippling motions when I'm blending it out. So it doesn't create any demarcations. And then for under my eye, I am using a bit of a smaller brush. And I bring that up. And we're just being extremely careful of our lines and our beautiful wings. And for today, we are going to set that with the Laura Mercier powder. I am using her again because it's been a while. I know I used it in the last video and I just really like the way that this powder works in my skin. I just got a new powder from Too Faced for my oily clients and I'm very excited to try that one out. I don't use it because it's mattifying and it doesn't go great on my skin, but I can't wait to try it out on my beautiful girls. So we are going to bronze up the face today with a non-heavy hand. Just a very light bronzing, keep it more natural for Miss Anna because we already have like this extreme eye look going.
We're going in with the Fenty Sandcastle Kilowatt Foil Highlight. So it just gives us that beautiful sparkle. And now our last step is going to be lips. And because I have a lot of foundation and stuff on my lips, I'm just cleaning it with micellar water. So for today, we are going to go in and use the N13 crayon for the lips from Makeup Forever. This is such a gorgeous shade, I love it. And now to top that off, we're going in with the Burt's Bees Nile Nude Lipstick. Those two paired together make such a cute color combo. I have never done this pair together, but I really like it. So this is the final look I have created for Anna. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below. And if you have any video suggestions, don't forget to put them down below. I am more than happy to do them for you guys. If you want any tutorials, any more creative makeup, just let me know and I can bring that to you. So I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.